Economic news today, wholesale prices starting to drop, and that means other price goods will soon follow. We actually saw car and truck sales, or other prices drop, and now we're seeing demand for RVs also starting to drop. And it just so happens that there's the annual RV show at the state fairgrounds in Tampa this week. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit took a spin around the fairgrounds and found out what the market looks like here in Tampa Bay for 2023. This is the largest RV show in the country, and although the RV industry is coming off of two record-breaking years, I'm told ticket sales here are up. The Florida RV Super Show is back at the Florida State Fairgrounds, featuring 1,300 RVs on display. There's everything from small RVs that you can tow with a vehicle to the mega million dollar buses, and they're decked out with the latest furnishings and appliances. The RV industry saw record shipments the past two years as people were cautious of traditional travel options during the pandemic. A recent study shows the highest interest in RVing comes from the younger demographic. One young couple tells me they're selling their house. We're getting ready to list it next month and then we're uh, going to buy an RV and full time it for a while until we can figure out what we want to do with this market right now. Florida RV Super Show says the slowdown in sales in recent months represents a return to the pre-COVID trend. Economists say falling RV sales can be an early warning sign that a recession is coming, but not always. The Florida RV Super Show runs through Sunday here at the Florida State Fairgrounds. In Tampa, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News.